have I got a treat for you. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I told you I was going to have a special guest, the Hot Father, Jeff Hotman. And if you haven't checked out his channel yet, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can have a look. Jeff wanted to try the coffee bar, so we're here. I have seen this so many times on YouTube, I was just excited to actually be here. So what are we having today? We're going to have some dark roast from 14th Coffee Company. Now, I mentioned this a minute ago. In uh, my brain dead state, I thought they didn't have a resealable bag. I opened the bottom of the bag, so yeah. See the way it folds yeah, up yeah. at the top. That's that's yeah. the top. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Anyway, these are the beans. Now I've already got some ground up. I'm gonna put some in here. And as usual, we're gonna try first black and first with milk. Now I don't do milk. Just so you know. What do you drink? Black. Always. Just. just you don't black. want to try it with milk either. No. No. This will, be I, this will be the last time the hot fire. <laughs> I, I am a coffee connoisseur. I don't believe in putting milk in. I think it just waters it down. All right. So 14th Coffee Company. You asked, actually asked me to do a little research on, on them. So I did. Okay. And 14th is actually between 13th and 15th. <laughs> That's about all the research I did. <laughs> I didn't really do a whole lot of research. Do you know why it's called 14th Coffee Company? Uh, because they're the 14th coffee company? No, I actually I don't know. They're on the 14th concession. Oh, okay. Out in Essex County. Okay. But they're on the 14th concession, that's why. All right. So you're going to drink this black. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I actually, I brought you a gift today, Larry. Uh oh. That's why I was a little late. Do you know what that is? <laughs> this light switch. <laughs> I've told them in multiple videos. I texted them. I'm like, put a cover on that. But right here. Yeah. I don't know you know if it'll fit, it but won't. I think. It Why won't. not? Because that's a dimmer switch. Well can't you just plop it off? You're plop it off. <laughs> Pull the switch off and then put that over top of it. Yeah. No, not like that. And, and I'll <laughs> fix it over done. <laughs> Alright. Oh light switch. <laughs> that's why I was late. I had to stop at the home hardware. That's all good. Alright, all right. I'm gonna wait for yours to be done. Yep, yeah, it'll only take a second. Now how come you don't grind the beans in your video? Um, noise. I have I have ground them before, but it's noisy. Yeah, it's real. I thought you were waiting for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Just I, so excited. I, I'm nervous. I'm so excited. I I do grind them in, sometimes in a video. Yeah. But it's it's uh right there. It's noisy. Yeah. I mean it's it's noisy. Now what model Keurig do you have? 2.0. That's the one that makes the big carafe, right? You can do that. Oh, I thought the Keurig 2.0 made a carafe of coffee. What's a carafe? <laughs> like it's a fancy name for a pot. I, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. <laughs> I like I, coffee. Well, I don't know what what's the 2.0 then. I only have a 1.0. Mine's actually like a 0.5. But it does a carafe. No, oh, mine doesn't. Okay. That's what I thought the 2.0 was. Okay, well, I can take the bottom here out okay. and put my and put this in there. Yeah. But that's it. I don't know. I Somebody don't. will know. Somebody will leave us a comment what the 2.0 means. Now, see, you only got half a cup there. Oh, I, I, left too no, I, I put yours on 10. Okay. 10 ounces, and mine was only 8 ounces. Okay. So, you special guests, you get more coffee. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this is uh, 14th Coffee Company's Dark Roast. Um, like I said, if you saw my other video, the vlog that I did while I was there, um, I had what they called the Americano. That's two shots of espresso with water, and then obviously I put milk in it because. That's how I drink my coffee. And like I usually tell everyone, you're going to drink it again. <laughs> I was going to. <laughs> like, when I have it in my hand, it's just natural. All right. Like I usually tell everybody the best way to drink your coffee is the way you like to drink it. So yeah, you push, I, you I would like to drink it, but right, no, 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 right. finish your story. Finish so anyways, your story. so basically I had the Americano, which is two shots of espresso, water, and then I end up putting milk in it because that's how I drink my coffee. I did have a cappuccino with a really large froth on it. Yeah. Um, it was way strong. Oh, really? Way strong. But 
the Americano, I actually like that pretty good. Yeah. I gotta figure out how to make one, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Someday I'll get one. What's a carafe? A right. big fancy thing with the yeah, machine. Yeah. So, now, so you're a coffee connoisseur. I am not. Like I'm McDonald's typically. Yeah, but McDonald's got good coffee. Yeah, well they do. But actually my my most popular video on YouTube is about coffee and that's that Tim Hortons yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. one that's got like two thousand views now. So yeah. anyway. Alright, so like what I was always I always start black. I always end up in adding milk as you know, but give okay. it a shot. Fourteenth coffee company. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's not bad black. No, and I'm interested to know because I actually find it a little weak. You find it weak? Yeah, I don't find it overly strong. Wow. Do you find it bitter? It's a little bitter, but that could be because of the grind. Okay. Right. Sometimes if, if the grind is either too fine or too too coarse, it'll end up bitter or or not enough flavor. I find it. Uh, milk and that maybe maybe I'm just putting milk in because it's habit no it's got a nice bold aroma really? so so a lot of times um, when I buy coffee it'll have where it come from they call it uh, single origin coffee yeah. so it all come from one region it's not mixed from African beans Brazilian beans Colombian beans it comes from one farm okay right that's what that single origin coffee is and a lot of them will tell you what flavors to look for when you're tasting it. I'm still yet to find the flavors. Well, maybe you need to do like the spinny thing, like the wine tasters do, and then have a spittoon where you can <laughs> you can drink and spit it out. Maybe that'd be good. Have, have you seen the the, the, <laughs> the coffee tasters on YouTube? Like the the actual big coffee companies? No, they I've sit, just seen it from movies and whatnot. Okay, well they'll sit around a table with uh, 15, 20 cups of coffee, and they sit there with a spoon. And they, they spit it out, and then they go to the next one. With a spoon. With a spoon. Hmm. I'm not sure what the reasoning for that is. If you know the reasoning, let me know. Uh, we just drink a lot of coffee. That's about it. Maybe so anyway, you can get like a cookie or something to take in between to uh, cleanse the palate. Okay, that's the, another the term. Chocolate chip <laughs> the yeah, decadent. Okay, so with milk. See, the milk takes a little bit of the bitter taste off. See, and I don't find it bitter at all. I could I, I could use it a little stronger. And in fact, I, I've seen you on this video with all this booze before. So why don't we make it a little stronger? Oh boy. Oh boy. See these things that they're here for decoration, but what they gotta be used too, right? So a little forty creek <laughs> with your fourteenth creek. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fifty fourth creek. <laughs> <laughs> you, you add faster than I do. Now that is good coffee. Oh, let me try that. <laughs> it even smells bad. <laughs> no, it's good. I like it. That's actually not <laughs> the bad. See, I, I've actually never put whiskey in coffee. I'll drink it straight up or on the rocks. Uh, I'll mix it with Coke, but I've never... This is bad. I'm going to be like a morning drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning. Kids, get ready for school. <laughs> No, see, I find this almost sweetens it up a little bit. Okay, so you, you had a piece of homework before you came here. Mm -mm. My dog ate it. <laughs> yeah. So did you do it? What? You were supposed <laughs> to find some interesting things about something? Yeah, I did. 14th. It's between right? 13 and 15. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I didn't do my homework. All right. So what do you know? Do you want to talk about the 14th coffee? We would already actually did because they're on the 14th concession, right? We learned that today. And they're outside of Maidstone, Ontario. Okay. How far is it from here? Uh, it took me 20 minutes to get there. Okay. So. Yeah, but your audience doesn't necessarily know where you live, so. Most of them do. He lives at number two. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, Actually, it, you can send him fan mail. You should get your fans to send you coffee in from all over the world. You've got, what, 3,000 subscribers? I had, this was sent to me by a viewer. <clears throat> okay. Muskoka. Have you reviewed that one yet? Yep. Okay. You know who sent that to me? No. Okay, cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do remember it now. Well, that's a remote for this camera right here. I just yeah. I haven't even tried it yet. Well, that's what I mean. Like all the all the action cams come with a cam with a remote. So, yeah. but that's a seventy-one dollar camera, as opposed to a seven hundred dollar camera. I've got a cheap one too, but it it does give me it does bother me a little bit because I went from a GoPro to a hundred dollar 
a Casa or something yeah, like yeah. that, right? And I do notice the difference in some of the software. And then in the export process, a lot of times it crashes when it's trying to upload like oh, 30, it? 40 clips at once. Now, it's part of it's the, <clears throat> the way I have to hook it up because I edit on my iPad. I don't, I don't just slide it. So you it. don't put the code in? No. Oh, okay. So that's where the, yeah, but anyway, not a huge deal. I, I, I just pull, I pull all the codes and put them in my laptop. That's the easier way, but I don't have a laptop. Oh. But I've gotten so quick on, uh, on the iPad, I can, like, a five-minute video, honestly, like, an hour, I can be done. The whole yeah, see, I, and you know what? I can do it pretty good as well. I use my I use Premiere Pro. Yeah. But what takes the most time for me is finding the music. Yeah, you've like, mentioned that. Like when I go through Epidemic Sound, I'll find music that doesn't fit the video that I'm doing, but I know I can make a video to fit that. A lot of time, and you hear a lot of people say that when they they'll hear music, and then I make a video that fits the music. See, and I do all my edits. And then I go looking for music, so I kind of get a feel for what it is, mm -hmm. like kids on a trampoline at the trampoline park yeah. or at the mall. And then I'll just go and I'll go to, uh, there's an audio library on YouTube yep. that I get yep. the music from. And I just go to happy music and I listen to like 30 seconds and I'm like, good enough. <laughs> and yeah. you'd be amazed how often like the music actually lines up to the act to the action. Yep. The beats to the music to what's going on on screen and it's totally unintentional. And then, you, you just kind of get lucky. And I do it completely different. All the files, I'll bring them in. And then I'll bring my the music that I want, and I lay the music out, and I get my start point. And then I just start editing to where the beat of the music is. And yeah, yeah. The best tip I have for music is your end point is almost more important than your beginning point. So I yep. can fade in to the start or to the middle of a song, yep. but if it ends when the action ends, because the end of the song always got like you know a heavy beat drop, or yep. you know it's got a definite ending, and then it makes it a nice smooth transition to your whatever you're doing next yeah. when the song actually ends rather than trying to fade it out slowly. Yeah. At the end where it fades out, you just time your fade. Mm -hmm. If you have a if you have a piece of music that fades out at the end, you just I just fade out the the video. Okay. How how was that? Good. <laughs> Let's have another one. <laughs> all right guys, that's all we got. You got a little bit of coffee, you got a little bit of editing tips from the Hop Father. You never know what you're going to get here. 14th Coffee Company. You recommend it? Yeah, yeah, with, with 40 Creeks. I recommend the 54th Coffee Company the most. 54th Coffee Company. Again, this is not a paid paid video by 14th Coffee Company. I bought this. Um, I think it was about $17 for the one Ooh. pound bag. It's good coffee. And a shot of whiskey is like two bucks. I'll get that for you before you leave. <laughs> That's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Thanks to the Hot Father for coming along. Hey, thanks for having me. Great to be here. Anyway, I'll leave a link to his, his channel in the description below. Check him out. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Later. Good morning. Ah, oh, I'm starting to shit in the corner. <laughs>